Good morning, guys. Let's get ready for the day. So after my chatty video that we did the other day, I've actually taken on board some of your tips. So thank you so much, because honestly, I literally do not know what I'm doing. But someone said about putting on my skincare after I've done my eyebrows, like styling them. And guys, I have to put my skincare on first thing, as my face just feels dry. She is hydrated. No, I've been awake for about two hours. I just can't get out of bed. Mm. Shattered. <laughs> Same. <sighs> Do you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing today? <sighs> Working. Same. My legs still hurt from Monday. Yeah, I'm training legs today. What are you filming today? Day of my life. What are you going to do then that's interesting today? <laughs> Day of eating and training. Nice. What calories are you eating today? I'm not tracking. Nice. Today's leg day outfit is a Gymshark number. Love these. I am going on holiday next week and I wanted to show you what I look like before I go away so that you guys can understand that having a week or two weeks off is not going to ruin your progress and you can absolutely go away and enjoy yourself. This is what my body is looking like after two months of intuitive eating and just eating to my hunger cues. Good morning guys, welcome back. We're doing a day in the life, eating and training. Whatever I get up to, I'm gonna film as much as possible. So I've just taken my progress videos and photos. And you know what? I'm actually feeling so lean at the moment and I'm not purposely doing it. I don't know, I just really struggle to eat in the summertime when it's hot and when I'm also so busy. And I'm gonna be honest, like the last few weeks, I've just really not been on it. My training has not been the best, apart from the last two sessions have actually been really good. But before that, my training has not been the best. I've definitely not been pushing myself as much as I probably could or should. And my diet, has consisted of a lot of biscuits and probably not as much protein as I should be having. So it's not been that great, but you know what? I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. Like I had a great six months at the start of the year. And like I said before, the summer is a time for obviously enjoying myself. And do you know what? I find it's so hard to get into a routine when you know you've got like holidays coming up and you know you've got that time off. So I'm gonna put it down to that. I'm actually going away this Saturday. I'm so excited. I'm going to the south of France for 10 days and I just need a break. Like with my job, it's obviously all about being creative and I just really find that when I'm tired, I just get into like a creative funk and it's really hard to like think of things to do. So I feel like I really need that break and I'm excited just to switch off and I'm actually gonna make myself switch off because I'm so guilty for not doing that and just take some time for me and enjoy my holiday but yeah that's what i'm looking like pre-holiday i have no idea how much i weigh maybe i'll weigh myself so we can compare it when we get back okay so i have got my clothes on but i'll wear the same when i get back let's see what i'm weighing okay do you know what that is actually not that bad 67 kilos i've maintained quite well that is actually really surprising i was expecting my weight to be like 65 kilos because i feel really lean like look at this photo i just took here i have not seen those kind of abs in a long while and i've not been doing this purposely either so yeah that's okay um but my goal when i get back is just to get back into a routine and get back into training properly pushing myself and i really want to go into like a muscle gaining phase 
probably within like the month after I get back. So I'm excited for that. And I just need to enjoy where I'm at now and not put too much pressure on myself because I'm so guilty of doing that and we just need to stop. But anyways, today is Wednesday. I have obviously done my little morning routine. I need to eat something because it's leg day today and we're gonna go to the gym and we're gonna train. It's now quarter past 10. So before my training at the moment, I've actually just been having like a relatively relatively simple carb meal but because it's already like quarter past 10 I think I'm actually gonna have a proper breakfast because otherwise I won't really have any energy and by the time I finish the gym it'll probably be like one o'clock so let's make breakfast I actually had a different breakfast planned but I'm really craving pancakes and they're high in protein they're quite filling as well and I feel like probably a good leg day fuel obviously we're gonna make them protein pancakes guys because your girl's trying to get her protein intake up before she goes away i actually feel like next week all i'm gonna be eating is rubbish so anyways let's make some protein pancakes and these are the ingredients that you're gonna need we're gonna be using some peanut butter i know this one is not that good nutritionally but this is the best one for melting on top of pancakes then we've got some maple syrup to top them with eggs Women's Best Fit Pro Way in vanilla. This is a French vanilla one. It tastes like ice cream. I always say that, but it literally does. Then we've got some baking powder, banana, frozen blueberries, my favorite fruit, and finally some oats. Wow, look how good they look. They literally came out better than I expected. I haven't made pancakes in a while, but they look unbelievable. Oh my God, they are so soft and gooey and not dry. Whoa, look at that. Okay, it's taste test time. These literally don't look dry. And the key to a good pancake that's not dry is to put in a well-ripened mashed banana. Oh my god. Wow. That's unbelievable. probably be the easiest to eat breakfast i've had in a while i've just like i said i'm struggling to kind of eat i've just really gone off breakfast as well like my breakfast normally has been like a bagel or a crumb bear and obviously that's got no protein in it <laughs> so i'm just trying to find foods that i'm gonna enjoy again because i don't know like just finding it hard i don't know if anyone else is let me know obviously if you are but i am gonna do some work now i normally do a little bit of work and then head to the gym it is 20 past 11 so i'll probably go maybe in like 20 ish minutes go to the gym get a good leg session in and then we'll come back and we'll make some lunch it is some time oh it's actually a little bit later than i wanted to train but i wanted to let my food go down and i just got engrossed in my work and i couldn't step away so anyways it's a slightly later leg day than i would like but it is what it is i'm not in a rush anyways um so yeah i'm just gonna get my shoes on make a gym drink and then we will get going i actually got to the gym not yesterday the day before and literally took my bag out of my car <laughs> the lid wasn't on my drink and it went all down my white hoodie so that wasn't great um so yeah i'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't come off but having my women's best cherry lemonade or very cherry btas so good look the, the tub is nearly gone gutted i'm gonna have to get some more it's honestly the best thing ever like if you struggle with drinking water you need this 
gym fit of the day is this Gymshark number. I feel really strong today, I don't know. I feel like I look stronger. But yeah, these shorts have actually just released. They are so comfy. And then this crop top was actually in a previous collection. I think it was like the Elevate collection. Or actually, I think it was the Whitney Simmons collection. This is just one of the most used tops that I have in my gym wardrobe. Just got to the gym. Today's workout is actually from my new program i've written myself a new workout because i don't know i just felt like i was due a change and when you feel like your motivation is dipping or you feel like you're not looking forward to the gym as much i always recommend just switching up your training a bit and trying something new so i've got a new plan today is actually my more glutes focused workout day and we have got barbell hip thrusts staggered leg hip thrusts hate those goblet squats rdls and some single leg press so hopefully we're gonna have a good session i feel good but it is like getting to lunchtime now and i'm like am i hungry i have actually just had a bit of a snack guys i'm obsessed with these they are sour sparks they're so good kieran got me into them i mean it's okay to have a few sweets every now and again hopefully we had a good session i have actually got a new tripod as well and i just sent my sister a photo of it and she was like what is that because that really does not look like a tripod but however i've just realized i can't put my camera on it so i'm gonna have to use my old tripod for now but it's actually really good it like all extends out and it's actually quite tall as well and i got it from amazon for today's workout i started off with the barbell hip thrust i did four sets six to eight reps and i worked my way up to 110 kilos I didn't actually go too heavy today just because I trained legs the day before yesterday so I still felt actually quite sore. I just made sure I warmed up really properly and used a band and stuff just to make sure that my glutes were active and my quads weren't taking over. Once I'd done the hip thrust I then lowered the weight and then I did a B stance hip thrust. So this is where you stand with one foot slightly forward compared to the other. And here you can honestly feel it in your glutes so much. I did eight reps each side and did three sets. Then after doing that, I went into the goblet squat and I did these heel raise just to make sure that I hit depth. This was actually my first set, so I felt really, really, really tight, um, but it definitely got way better and I worked up to 20 kilos there. Then we went into single leg press. I did four sets, eight to 10 reps on each leg and just really focused on pushing through that bent leg. These are literally a killer for your glutes and I would recommend to anyone. I then went onto the soft mat area and I did some seated abductions. I did 20 reps and three sets and that was it. Oh my God, guys, I'm absolutely drenched. Like what even is this summer that we're having in the UK? It's like ridiculously muggy but it's chucking it down every single day. Um, but anyways, leg session done. It was okay, it actually went well, but towards the end I could feel myself getting really hungry and we need to eat. So I'm just gonna go to the supermarket, pick up a couple of bits. I'm trying not to buy too much because obviously I'm going away literally in two days, so I don't wanna like waste any food, um, but I'm just gonna pick up a couple of bits and we're gonna make a really quick and easy lunch and um, feed this hungry person. I am starving. This is your reminder to not go to the gym so late that you then have to have lunch at three o'clock. But anyways, guys, because it's so late, we're going to be having a very quick and easy lunch. And this is something that you can literally whip up so quickly. To be honest, you can even do this at work because you don't have to cook anything. So for lunch, we're going to be making a tuna i would call it like a it's almost like a poke bowl but not it's like tuna sushi rice it's so good and these are the ingredients that you're gonna need okay so to make this bowl we're gonna need some tuna i don't know where the wrapper's gone but anyway we've got some rice now they didn't have sticky rice so i've had to pick up the thai jasmine and then cucumber spring onions carrots sriracha mayonnaise and some sesame seeds Okay, I'm sorry, but how quick and easy was that? Like healthy eating, honestly, does not have to take hours and hours. That literally took me less than five minutes. 
I always have to have something sweet after lunch. So I'm gonna have one of these blueberry Velveeta bakes. They're literally incredible, such a great snack. It is time for some dinner. I feel like I'm looking pretty disheveled, but I've had a very busy day and it has been raining outside. It's so bad guys. I don't know how many times I've said that, but my hair has gone poof. I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow and I'm so excited and getting my holiday hair. But anyways, for dinner tonight, I wasn't actually feeling anything meaty. I don't know. Again, I feel like I've got the meat ick. Don't know what it is. So we're gonna have a pesto and halloumi pasta, but we're using this high protein pasta that I found in Morrison's. This genuinely tastes so good. Like some people message saying, does it taste weird? But it, it actually doesn't at all. And per portion, so per 75 gram, there's 22 grams of protein. Like that is insane for pasta. So yeah, we're gonna be using this and these ingredients that you're gonna need. So first of all, we're gonna need some pasta. I've got this one from Morrison's. I'm gonna use around 60 grams per portion just because I've got all of this other stuff going into it. We've got some onion, low fat halloumi, uh, tomatoes, peas. Then I've got some pesto. We've got some Parmesan and then finally some low fat cream. So I'm gonna add in some grated mozzarella just to make it that extra bit cheesy. Oh my God, guys, I just found this shaped pasta. In my pasta, that is weird. For our cheesy pesto pasta, mozzarella just makes it so cheesy. And then we're gonna add in Oh, oh my god, that looks unbelievable. Wow, this has got to be the best veggie pasta ever. Like it's literally so cheesy and it's super high in protein as well. I feel like today's meals have literally been 10 10 like this is my idea of heaven halloumi cheesy pasta this is literally exactly what i had in mind i know it's pasta but because there's only 60 grams and we've got as a veggies it's not like too filling and the protein pasta I always find doesn't bloat you so much because it hasn't got so many carbs in it that is so good mm. So tonight it's going to consist of sorting my life out because I literally have stuff absolutely everywhere at the moment. Let's not talk about that or that down there. Although that is actually my organised holiday clothing semi. So we're actually staying in an Airbnb apartment and we've had such a nightmare. The one we were originally meant to stay in and that we booked back in like February cancelled on us this week. So that was fun. We've actually managed to rebook. And to be honest, I actually prefer the apartment anyway. So whatever. But yeah, we're staying in an Airbnb. And I always struggle in Airbnbs and hotels actually for like good mirrors. So I thought I might get one that's good for traveling. This is actually from Amazon. I just picked this up. It's a rechargeable lighted makeup mirror. I've honestly got so many of these cables at the moment. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, it's quite, oh, it's like really small and compact. And there were such good reviews on it. Oh, how do you even open it? Tap to turn off on. How do I turn that off? Anyways, it looks like this. <laughs> you guys can see yourself. It's actually really good. Like, it's a really good size. Like, that could ease. Oh, that could easily fit in your hand luggage. And it's going to light up. But I think I need to charge it. Put that on charge now. And then I also actually bought a little mini hairbrush because when I go out, like on nights out, my hair gets really knotty, especially with extensions. So I just bought this because I can literally fit it in like all my handbags. And finally, I cannot live without packing cubes when I go on holiday. These are a lifesaver when it comes to like packing your clothes, especially if you're a really messy person like me. I really struggle with organization. <laughs> bad but these honestly like save my life because i can fit so much in it all you do is like roll your clothes up into them and everything fits and everything's organized i'll put in one my bikinis then another i'll put like my night outfits then another like my daytime outfits 
and it's just like my go-to when I'm on a like going out holiday. Oh my goodness, I've literally been looking forward to this. Do you know what, I love makeup and the fact that we can obviously make ourselves feel good, but at the same time, I actually hate it. Like, I hate putting it on. I hate taking it off. <laughs> I try actually not to wear too much now. And most days I actually don't really wear mascara. I just find it so much easier. My skin is so much better as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna wash this off and then get in the shower. Literally feels so good. My two evening skincare products, I literally love these and cannot live without them. Oh my God, I have literally way too much stuff. Oh God, you know what, this is actually the worst bit, but I like to know exactly what I'm having. So I always take pictures of my outfits and then I know what I'm gonna wear. So I actually did this the other day, but I like laid out stuff and then I can literally just go to it and pick it up when I'm there. Right, let's get this packed into my packing cubes. And I'm not gonna forget a hairdryer this year. I cannot deal with really small hair dryers you get in like hotels. GHG actually sent me this one. So thank you so much. This is absolutely incredible. My sister has the same, but this is the professional one. So it's actually a lot lighter and a lot more powerful, I think. Um, but hers is incredible. So yeah, I'm really, really, really happy to have this. Now, do we think I'm gonna need seven bikinis? I mean, I don't know. 